Let's talk some cards and high school football. There are four kings in every deck of cards, but last year we had not one, but two kings in 32-5A. Brownsville veterans and Mercedes were co-district champs. This year we have another good district battle brewing. Tonight in Brownsville, the Chargers 2-0 in district hosting Ed Count Jelsa, who is also 2-0 in district. And the Jackets came out with the first punches. Scoreless came in the first quarter. Ed Couch is Elsa's Ronaldo Mata with the field goal. That's good. Later on, Albert Trevino catches the Chargers defense off guard. He snaps it quickly to the near sideline. And there goes Trevino, a 67-yard touchdown for the Jackets. And La Machina takes a 10-0 lead. Later on, though, here come the Chargers. Gustavo Vasquez flings it to Carlos Galindo. He gets behind the secondary. And goodbye. The Chargers win a crucial district matchup. The final score in Brownsville, 21-19. The other undefeated team in the district, Brownsville Lopez. They were in Donna tonight. Opening drive of the second half. Lobos up 7-zip. Jose Echavarria showing off that quickness. Quick as a Lobo there inside the five-yard line. And the cameras rolling as the Redskins look to make a stand. Lobos try another run, but this time nowhere to go. And J.P. Sandoval with a nice tackle for a loss. After a pass interference penalty, a first and goal for Lopez. The Redskins make another spirited stop here. So second and goal now. And the Lobos come back on offense. Alex Ramirez back to pass and plenty of time to find his teammate Leo Alanis, who makes the tiptoe touchdown there. Lopez wins 21-7. So Lopez and Brownsville veterans now share the district lead in 32-5A. All right, let's play some more cards. How many Valley teams are undefeated? Six of them. You just saw Brownsville Lopez there. That's one of them. Another unbeaten, PSJA. The Bears hosting Economides tonight, and the Dags have an ace up their sleeve. Let's take a look at the highlights tonight. Here is a cell phone shot. That was actually a 10 I showed you. Whoops. Here's our shot from uh, the Channel 5 cameras. Economides rolling the dice on a fourth and seven. Albert Guerra finds Omar Trevino at the first down for the Jags. Now they go to the ground game. Gabriel Ornelas cuts it back to the inside. He fights his way in for the score. Two point conversion, no good. Economides ahead 16 to seven, and the baby's up in the air. But the Bears start to claw back before halftime. Trey Guajardo flushed out of the pocket. He finds Nathan Sanchez, who makes the juggling catch there. First down for the Bears across midfield. A few plays later, Guajardo to his left now. And the pass right on the money to Nathaniel Miranda. At the half, PSJA was down by three. And the Bears with a huge second half. PSJA now 3 0 in district as they top Economides 44 to 21. Edinburgh North taking on PSJ North. The Raiders still in search of their first win this season. First quarter, no score. Servando Marroquin showing his urgency for the Raiders. Big sack for him there. Chalk it up to number 33. Later in the first quarter, Raiders with the rock. And they dial up the old double reverse. It's a pass as well. Randy Reyna gets it back. He finds Arturo Bertran. PSJ North takes a 7-0 lead. Second quarter. The Cougars say, hey, that's neat. Let's give that a try ourselves. They do the same thing. Isaiah Rangel makes a move, gets down shy inside the goal line. But in the end, it is the Raiders from PSJ North victorious. They win 20 to 14. That's the Raiders' first win of the year. One more game tonight. What is Lincoln goes on the road to beat Mission 45-28. The Huskies now 2-1 and one in district, while the Eagles fall to one and two. When Oscar, I was playing with the cards. I had a mistake there. Yeah. I showed a 10 instead of the ace. Sure. You know why I did that, right? I have no idea. It's because I had the ace up my sleeve. Okay. <laughs>